Hi I'm James and this video I'm taking a look at Grand Theft Auto 5 running on Intel HD 520 and AMD Radeon R6 graphics. So this is Sky Lake versus Carrizo um, based processors. As we can see here in these sort of synthetic tests where we've got the day and night sequences the AMD A10 8700P outperforms the Core i7 6500U. Um, so we've got slightly higher frame rates, uh, say where we've got 20 on one side, we're sort of 22, 25 on the other, which is a fair increase. It's not, you know, vast difference, but in percentage terms, it's fairly reasonable. Um, where this gets interesting, though, is when we move through these initial tests and now as we go into sort of the more gameplay style test where we have some vehicles and later on some AI, Again, we'll see here in these early stages, the A10 is still outperforming the i7. But as we go through the test, we'll start to see even here, in fact, there's up to like a 30%, almost 40% difference in places, but it's still not, you know, vastly different. We can also see there's actually more popping of objects on the A10. Um, in places where on sort of the ground details it's a bit later for some things to appear I think it's hard to tell sort of comparing the two side by side in this small window while I'm comparing but it should be a bit more obvious in the full screen video if that's correct or not but we're actually seeing now the i7 is starting to pull ahead in places and the frame rate is getting closer as we go in with more AI vehicles and now as we go to sort of the ground level um, firefight section we'll see the i7 is actually starting to pull ahead so as they get into the car and we start to move off this one what happens on both machines will actually differ slightly because you have um, AI vehicles and these are randomized for each test but we see now higher frame rates on the i7 as we're dealing with these AI characters and in fact we're drop we're now seeing a big advantage for the i7 here uh, where we're sort of 25 to 30 frames per second, we're now down into the teens on the A10, down to 11 frames per second there, which is quite low. So this just goes to show, I mean, we've got obviously perhaps some CPU limiting or how the power is being distributed here, and it's quite interesting to see how the performance ebbs and flows between the two processors throughout this test. I hope you found this video interesting and um, be sure to subscribe to my channel to see more in the future and check out the existing videos that we've got on the channel as well. And if you'd like to see more, then be sure to let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.